Hi guys, thank you very much for clicking by. Thank you for stopping by, you're very welcome. My name is Ajala and if this is your first time of stopping by on my channel, you are very, very welcome. I really appreciate it. For my old subscribers, you are all welcome. I appreciate your love, I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. So there's something I'd really like to talk about very briefly before I go. I'm on my way out and it is camps. The reason why I decided to do this video sharply is because someone just talked to me a few minutes ago and invited me to come and do one one of their scam stuff like that. They call it crowd one, crowd one, or something like that. So you see, times are hard. They are hard for everybody apart from those who are stealing. And you find that there are a lot of fraudsters all over the place looking for who they can cheat. I don't want my subscribers to be among them. Okay, that was why I decided to do this video on scams. Ponzi schemes, MLMs, or whatever fancy names they are called. There are several ways you can be scammed, like I said earlier. One of the ways is from your politicians who come to tell you that they can change one naira to a dollar within four years. Another way is for that beautiful girl who is on Facebook, on Instagram, on, on Twitter, the hottest body ever. And then of all the seven billion people in the world, it is you she likes. That is most probably a scam. But the one I'm more concerned about is Ponzi schemes and MLMs. That is the one I really want to discuss right now, where people will ask you to give them your money and they will double it for you. Or those who will tell you to give them your money and then you bring two people who are silly like you and then they will, so to speak, they will kind of do business or whatever. They have fancy expressions for it so that they will collect your money. When you bring two people, they will bring money for you. Guys, I just like to let you know that if any business proposal sounds too good to be true then it is as a matter of fact too good to be true and it is better you avoid those kind of businesses so there's this one they call crowd one and that's the one that is kind of in vogue now i suspect they are supposed to give them 99 euros and then when you give them 99 euros after a few weeks they will give me back whether they have many more thousand euros but immediately i got there i told them that guys i told my friends anyway that this is a scam and usually, the people who benefit from this scam are the people who are perpetrating it, never the victims. No matter how plenty you are, you are always a victim. There's a context anyway within which I think it's a moral question, if you, you, your conscience can take it, for you to know for a fact that this money is not your own. The money they are going to pay you is not yours. It's somebody else's money. And the fact that you are not a victim does not mean another person is not a victim. Those who are at the top of the pyramid will make plenty of money and then those who are at the bottom of the pyramid, which is the majority of them, will lose a lot of money and be miserable. So if your conscience can carry something like that, well then fine and good, but me, I don't think it's something that right thinking members of the society should do. And there's something about these MLMs and Ponzi schemes. It's the fact that they never thrive in any country where the government is in control of the economy. They will always target sub-Saharan Africa because they know that this is where the misery index is high. This is where people are miserable. Everybody needs money. We always have bills and our earning power tends to be low. So, and then our government does not really regulate or is not in control of how the economy works. So they will always come here. Think about it, Mana. These people will stand up from a thousand kilometers from wherever their country is. They will come to Nigeria because they love you. They don't love their own people in their country. Now you don't love, they want to come and give you money. How? It doesn't work that way. You are ultimately a victim. So I would like you to avoid these kinds of schemes. Before you give your money to anybody, be sure of what they are going to do with it. And if they are very shady about it, then it's better you keep your money. Go and buy suya with it or you, you do Father Christmas with the money. It's better than giving all these skinny uh, Ponzi scheme people. It's better that way. Because in the end, you are going to lose. If you do not lose, another person will lose. And if your conscience will carry it, then really you have a problem with, with empathy. Then there's also the one that they will cleverly craft, craft and call it MLM. People tend to mistake MLM. See, there are those different ways of saying the same thing, if you ask me. Even if they give you a product to sell, the product is just a decoy. It's something that will throw you off the sense of the fact that they are trying to rip you off. Usually, more often than not, these products are very difficult to get off your hands. You cannot sell it. It is very difficult. So you find yourself having to quarrel with your friends and relatives because they refuse to buy your GNLD product or your whatever product. The fact that you have a product to sell does not mean that it is no longer a scam. It is still a scam, especially when they give you drugs to sell. You are not a doctor, you are not a pharmacist, and they will come and tell you that you should go and sell drugs. They will call it uh, nutritional supplements, and that's just a way, basically still the same thing, it's a scam. 
when we take these their drugs, go and subject them to clinical analysis. If they have a drug that can cure cancer or diabetes, why is it that they will not take it to the WHO? Is you of all the seven billion people in the world they want to market it for them? How? Because it is a scam, and the only people who are going to benefit from the scam is the people who are at the top, basically the perpetrators of the scam and maybe the first people who enter it. But those of you who come in last, basically you are only going there to go and dash people your money. And I decided to do this video because I want to enlighten as much people as possible. It's not that I am a financial expert or a lawyer I be, but stay away from these kinds of things. I realize that Nigerians, we have a problem with learning our lessons. It is in this Nigeria that a few years ago, MMM came and impoverished a lot of people. It is in this Nigeria that a lot of people lost their money to GNLD, Herbalife, and all sorts of fancy things. But still, we do not learn. You still find people creeping, running to go and meet these MLM people to give them money. You are wrong on every count. It is better you keep your money. Start a business if you need extra money. True money, money that endures. Money that endures is a product of adding value find something around your society find something around your neighborhood that you can do to make things better money is a natural consequence but for you to just sit around you want to just sit down and and somebody will come and give you money that is not yours everything is wrong with that guys everything is wrong with that so please if you can stay away from these ponzi schemes i'd like you to also understand something this culture of wanting to reap where we did not so where you just want to sit around and something will come and meet you is a culture that we have carried from our personal lives from being Ponzi schemes, taking it into our national lives. I don't know if there's anywhere in the world that you had any other citizen of any country saying something about national cake. We are the only people, Nigerians, we are the only ones who refer to our national treasury as national cake. And because of that fact, you find most Nigerians talk about national cake. We want to share the national cake, my share of the national cake, but nobody is really bothered about how that national cake is baked. That is why it is very easy for politicians to also scam us. That is also easy. It is also because of that reason that a Nigerian politician can come and tell you we are going to change dollar within four years. We will make Nigeria to become like Dubai. Nigeria is going to become like the United States without a blueprint. And we believe them because we are that gullible generally. We want to reap where we did not sow. That is why Ponzi scheme people, what is this man's name, the MMM guy, can come here and tell you that give me money and in 30 days I'll give you 30% and you have not really done anything to earn that money. It's a very very big problem. I would like us all to stay away from Ponzi schemes as much as possible. So learn to ask them the very deep questions before they come and meet you, before you give them your money. For example, where are you going to get the, the river, the profits you are going to give me? Where are you going to get it from? Like this crowd, one people, they said they are going to use um, they are going to they, they make the profit from selling computer games and i'm not really a tech person but i know that computer games cannot bring out this type of money by the millions really and any scheme where you have to bring people to bring people before you can get money is basically a ponzi scheme yes there are multinational companies who do all sorts of things to give incentives for people to sell their product but how you can tell the one that is a genuine product and the one that is false is when you find out that people are asking you to give them money to pay them basically for the privilege to sell their products. So what is that supposed to mean? I am the one who is helping your business grow, but I'm the one who has to pay for it again. It's because you are being scammed. Stay away from these kinds of scams, my dear friends, my dear subscribers. Avoid them. And I'd like to leave you with a last word. If something is too good to be true, then it is, if it sounds too good to be true, then it is in fact too good to be true, number one. Then number two, a lot of times people do these things out of ignorance because we do not know. Yes, again, there's a context within which they take advantage of our fiscal vulnerability. A lot of Nigerians don't really know much about money, about how to invest it. We don't learn much of this in school. Even those who study finances, banking finance or economics, they don't talk much about that. So most of us, it's very easy to come and tell Nigerians to bring money. We are going to double it for you and people will think it's a feasible scheme. So genuinely, they are victims. But now that you know, you are no longer a victim. If after watching my video, you go and give people your money, guys, you are no longer a victim. You have become a volunteer. And at that point, really, the only thing we can tell you is sorry. And more often than not, these people, their path is so clean. They find a way. To, before you even know what's happening, they have disappeared and they have left the country. We have weak institutions in Nigeria. There's no way our institutions can trace these people to get back your money for you. So it's better you just stay away from them. The one that is in vogue now is Crowd One. Before then, there was MMM. Before the MMM, there was Herbalife. There were all sorts of things. Stay away from them. 
stay away from them if you want to get rich there are several ways you can do it but good money the money that endures it doesn't come quick money that will stay with you forever does not come quick it will have to take time to grow roots and then it will grow it's like a baby but you want to give people money to earn in three months they will give it to you time three how now why is it that nobody who has ever done mmm is on the forbes list think about it who among the millionaires whom they tell you were millionaires from selling GNLD products, from selling Herbal Life products or all these their fancy products, who among them today is still a millionaire? Because when you are spending money that is not your own, you will run out of it. Money that you did not earn, you will always run out of it. That's what Margaret Thatcher said. We have to be very, very careful with these kind of things and stop allowing ourselves to be victims of this. And it is when you stop being victims, even in your own private quarter, that's when you'll be able to sit a politician down, look at him in the eye and say, so you are going to turn Nigeria to Dubai. Show me the blueprint. Show me how you are going to do it. Thank you very much, my subscribers, for listening to me. I hope that you learned a lot. And if you did, please share this video to as many people as you can who you think are potential victims to these kind of things. We have to be very, very careful. And I'm doing this because I love you all. I have actually fallen prey to a Ponzi scheme before. If you live in Jersey, you'll know the ones I'm talking about. They collected my 300,000 naira. 300,000 naira as a copper. So I have learned the lesson and I consider that my school fees in the school in the school of hard knocks, in the school of life. That's my school fees. I don't hold it against them. I have to be stupid. But you know they say if you fool me once, shame on you. But he fooled me twice. Now shame on me. So guys, please take heed. I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye bye.